it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here for another recap review of Love & Hip Hop, The Family Reunion, Season 2, Episode 8. Of course, like I mentioned before, this is a recap review because it's my channel. I can do what I want. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, subscribe, and turn your post notifications on and share me with your people. If you're not new to the channel but you have yet to do everything I mentioned before, please do all of that, okay? And if you just don't like me, you know that's fine, but please like, comment, subscribe, turn your post notifications on, and share me with your people. Because you may not like me, but somebody, and I mean somebody, out there does. Now, before we get into this, if you would like to get in touch with me for any type of business, everything is in the description box below, as well as my social handles for my social media if you would like to follow me. Everything's down there in the description box so let's get into it we pick up where we left off it is the gay pride day and you know amina has just dropped that bomb that you know peter doesn't want or peter didn't allow him and tara's five-year-old son to be a ladybug for halloween peter's very upset he doesn't want it to come off that he is homophobic he feels like this was like a moment she wanted a moment like he it was kind of a moment not gonna lie about that and his whole thing is he's not homophobic he like feels like something like this would get somebody like him canceled i'm just tell you this now um peter if they wanted to cancel you they would already did it when people get canceled it's because people already didn't like them and they just needed a better reason not to like them so there's that now, granted, a lot of people, when they do jacked up stuff, I'm not going to mention names, but they know who they are, deserve to be canceled in every sense of the way. But when it comes down to it, this is not something you cancel somebody over. And if they wanted to cancel you, Peter, they would have canceled you over the way you treated Tara and Amina and anybody else in the past. So, you know, there's that. Because, honestly, who's checking for you other than the people on Cheaters? Now... Peter lets it be known that he, lets it be known that he was raised by a good family friend who happens to be a lesbian. She brought him up when his mother wasn't able to take care of him. So he's just like he's not homophobic. The one uh, that him and I mean his daughter is named after is a member of the LGBTQIA plus community. So it's just like, come on now, don't do this to him, in his own words. Now, when it comes down to allowing that five-year-old child to wear the ladybug costume, even though Tara said when they got back to the store, the child didn't want to be a ladybug. The child wanted to be something else. It's not about you being homophobic, Peter. It's about the negative thoughts that surround what are girl clothes and what are boy clothes clothes are clothes if your child wants to be a ladybug for halloween let that child be a ladybug it doesn't make that child um gay or any less of who they are you just can't put that on a child clothes are clothes a costume is a costume children are very finicky especially five-year-old children one day they want to be a ladybug the next day they want to be an astronaut the next day they want to be a chef the next day they want to be just like you the next day they want to be a teacher it they want to be a lot of things and it's halloween it's a time to dress up and play make-believe and if the child wants to believe that they are a ladybug that day then let them be a ladybug clothes are clothes the clothes don't make the person the person makes the clothes Y'all need to be able to realize that there is no such, like, again, clothes are clothes. Your children should be able to, able to wear what they want to wear as long as it's, appro it's appropriate for their age. Clothes are clothes. Moving on from that, because don't nobody give a damn about the child being, like, let the child be a ladybug. I'm going to just move on. Amina, it wasn't the time nor the place to mention this whole thing it wasn't the time or the place to have this big blow up if you felt some type of way about it whether you talked to peter and tara before y'all got there when it initially happened or if it would have been a conversation after the gay pride day that way we could have got more information about the the conversion therapy and everything else that jonathan's friend possibly had to say that would have been great. You could have just pulled Tara and Peter to the side and let your feelings known, like had a private conversation and told them how 
you felt about the situation. So, time and place, Miss Girl, time and place. Jonathan and Bobby host a drag show, and they bring Zim on stage as well because, you know, they made up and everything. And it's a fun time for everybody. And then for the people who have never actually been to a drag show, they actually had fun. Because <laughs> drag shows are amazing. They are a good time. And then Bobby performed his song, Judgment Day, and I liked the song. And I was like, okay, it's a good song. Peter, Tara, Amina get into a screaming match about the comment of the ladybug costume. And he feels like, again, I mentioned that Amina was trying to make a moment, which she kind of did. And that she was jumping into him and Tara's parenting. However, y'all were the ones who said y'all were a big happy family. Y'all were the ones who said y'all had a village. So boo-hoo. If one of the members of the village has decided to speak up, then y'all need to have a conversation about that. Eventually, they make up. They move on. Talking about Tara and uh, Amina, they make up, move on, realize that they are two different mothers and they have two different parenting styles and they are going to raise their children in the way they see fit. Now, as long as they raise those children to be uh, well-adjusted, functioning members of society, then I can't say nothing about it. <sighs> Booby and Sin, you know, the vacation bays because they are here for vacation and vacation only, and this is only going to last for vacation, and I'd be, I would be surprised if anything happened after, but it won't because word on the street, word on the curb from what the people are telling me, Booby has a whole girl out here, so I'm like, mm. It was fun while it lasted. You know, Booby and Sin talking, having good times. I was like, ooh, uh-oh. It was fun while it lasted. It hit my arm. Now we see the knockoff uh, Vin Diesel and Safari go to talk. They get into it again. Mind you, this is the next day. They get into it again. They start arguing. Somebody swings. It's a swing and a miss. And, you know, a run-up happens, but these hoes was not trying to fight. They weren't. So I don't know why y'all did it. Listen, the beige Carl Winslow is upset about a party that we all knew Safari wasn't going to pull up to. Safari, you should just told him, I'm good. I don't want to come. And we wouldn't be dealing with these situations. Mind you, Mr. Clean, focus on your personal issues and let this BS go. Also, no time and place to have conversations and stop coming at people with animosity like they did something to you. Okay? So, Stevie and Peter go to have two separate conversations with the two hoes that was titty bumping, but we really know they wasn't going to fight to get their sides of the story. Now, Uncle Fester said he will put hands on Safari. Doubt it. Peter, stop making excuses for Uncle Fester, okay? And Stevie, don't be making excuses for Safari. Because... Safari is going through his own issues because he put himself there. He continuously puts himself there. And the only way to help him is for him to help himself and get into some therapy. Now, on the flip side, Peter shouldn't be making excuses for the beige Carl Winslow because he put himself in his own situations as well. Instead of focusing on your problems and your issues that you're currently having in life, you have decided to start picking with folk. And it's just like, Leave these people alone. If you want them to be family, if you want them to be your ride or dies, if you want them to be your village and come around you, actually have real conversations. But other than that, you don't know when to actually talk to people. You always doing something. So get your life in order, sir. Also, Q-Ball mentions that, you know, with his divorce, he hasn't been able to see his kid in six months. And I was like, what is your custody situation like? that you haven't been able to see the kids in six months does your ex-wife have full custody of the children do you all have joint custody do you still have your parental rights like what is the situation that's going on here you know facetime is a thing skype zoom google hangouts you know there are ways to see your children having a go between depending on what the custody situation is like come on now you got to figure it out because nobody has time for you and your weirdo antics and it also makes me think that for the knockoff in Diesel, that when things happen, they have to happen on his his time. And if it's not happening on his time, he don't want to hear it. Stevie hosts a pool party with some music and some barbecue. You know, very Stevie-like. So, you know, 
not much to it. Peter and Amina talk it out. They have apologies. Apologies had by all. They kiss and make up. Yay, we so happy. Because we don't want to hear this conversation again. Safari and Cisco talk and make up. Apologies are all around because we all know they wasn't really going to fight. And I'm glad because I don't want to hear about this party situation ever again. And then Paris shows up. And, you know, Paris has lost a lot of weight. She looks good. And, you know, she's there for the fashion show that Zell will be hosting. Now, that was all. Um, don't really care about the safari and beige Carl, like Carl Winslow get into a fight because we really know they was not going to truly fight. Um, they both need therapy. Peter, Tara, and Amina, y'all need family therapy just to work out the roles in this whole village y'all have going on. And, you know, I'm glad everybody had a good time at the drag show. Drag shows are drag shows are a good time now with that being said that has been this recap review for the time being if you like the content on this channel please like comment subscribe and turn your post notifications on if you don't like the content on this channel you know please still like comment subscribe turn your post notifications on and share me with your people because you may not like me but somebody out there does and if you would like to follow me on my social media or just want to do business with me everything's in the description box below and i will see y'all later bye <laughs>